y'all are this afternoon this is your buddy george jones over at our bargain gun range with my next installment on a let's shoot a new gun now i've been following glock's production and glock's modifications and glock for years they came out in 1986 you could actually start buying them in this country in 1986 they first come out about 1981 in europe you know and nato experimented with them and it's a it's about 95 degrees outside right now. Uh, this is the, more or less, one of the latest derivations. This is the 45, the Model 45. Now, the Model 45 is basically the uh, a Model 17 size frame with a, uh, with a Model 19 size slide on it. So that's where they're at now is they're swapping slides and frames around to create new production guns. The thing about it is, all of them seem to be pretty good. Now, I've never shot one of these guys before, so we're going to shoot it, see what kind of accuracy it got, see what the recoil impulse is like, see if there's any significant changes internally that affect you or me, and take a look at it right here. Uh, it's got the standard Glock features. Now, this particular one does not have changeable back straps. It appears to have changeable back straps on it, but no back straps came in the box, and this in fact is a new gun. Um, um, single side magazine release. You know, it does have ambidextrous slide drop. So the slide lock back is ambidextrous. It's available on both sides. And of course is the takedown. Of course you have to grab both sides of it to get it to take down. Just fooling with it here, it has a pretty good, it's a little stiff until you get to the point of break, and then it has a fairly short reset, and I mean a fairly short reset. It's a Glock, you know, okay, let's give it a whirl, see what happens. I've got a B29 target up at 7 yards, which is designed to simulate the B27 target if the B29 is at 18 yards, it's supposed to simulate firing at one at 50 yards with a handgun. So it's reduced by about two-thirds in size, but it's a B21 target. So we're going to try it here at seven yards just to establish what kind of accuracy we can get out of this gun. And I'm going to do old magazine monopod right here off the block. And see if I can hit anything. Hit it to hitify anything with it. And apparently I can. <laughs> like right in the tin. You sure Henry don't make this gun? Because it shoots good right out of the box. Well, that's 10 or a hundred dollars worth. <laughs> Let's go down and take a look at the accuracy of it, see how it actually shoots for me. I got a little bit off to the left. Uh, my first three were right there. Boop, 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 right there. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, Yeah, the gun shoots good. Nothing wrong with it. Gun shoots good. Right out of the box. These guys in the current market are in the 550 range. They come with one extra magazine. Two, they come with two? Okay. So they come with two magazines. So that gives you a complete total capacity of, well, 
three times 17, uh, that's uh, a lot. You know, yellow follower, Colt factory, or Colt Glock factory magazines. And it's in the 550 range. You know, they're getting kind of expensive, but you know, they're Glock. They, they tend to work. Um, one thing about it is, you know, I'm not a big fan of Glock, never have been. But I'll speak the truth. You bet your life on whether or not a Glock will work in a, in a pinch. You know, pretty good old gun, the Model 45. That's a, it has, I, I think the advantage here, it has full length frame support all the way to the end, as opposed to having a dust cover out here. You know, I, I don't know if that helps it or hurts it or what it does, but you know, just by the appearance of it, it looks like there would be more support for the slide, you know, at the ignition cycle.